don't know where I am. I can't see anything. <sighs> How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Flames Plays, and today we are checking out Do They Know, a Christmas indie horror game available over Nichio. I'll have a link in the description box down below, as well as links to my Discord, Patreon, and Twitter. If you'd like to check any of those out. Hello, Hollis? There we go. There's the music. That's what I was looking for. Mm, yes, Papa? Oh, I gotta do a more older voice. Okay. Ah, oh, good. You're awake. We have a busy day ahead of us. The Mundig feast is upon us, and we'll need your help around the village. Okay, Papa. I'll get ready. Make sure to dress warm. It's cold out there here today. Is, is he already outside, or...? Whoa. Oh, whoa. Okay. That's kind of weird. It's tank controls. Not sure how you feel about this. Pick up your coat. Uh, C? Okay, so that's W and Q and E strafe. Oh, it's space. Space does that. Weird. Large coat. Large enough to cover my whole body. Very comfy around the head. Uh, okay. That's, that's good. A little weird. Oh, hey. Oh my god. Bro, no. No. Oh god, I'm stuck. Okay, so it says that it's F. But it's actually... Wait, so that goes... That looks down. But then, how do you look up? So C centers. Okay, I, I get it. C centers. X looks up. F? F? Okay, uh, okay, pick up your thick boots. <laughs> We're just gonna do that. Got him. Thick boots, got these help me wade through deep snow thanks to how heavy they are. Okay, and then C is the center. Okay, cool. I uh, have to look up for this. This is so disorienting to have to control everything with just... Pick, pick up... No, pick up glove. There we go. Got him. Oh my god, this is so weird. I, I know it has controller support, and I don't know if that would feel much better. Long gloves. Helps me find things buried in thick snow while keeping my arms warm. That's- I can't even use the arrow keys. That's so weird. This is all like throwing me off. Okay, well, I'm just gonna burn my face if I shove myself into there, so let's go ahead and leave- Okay, so that's telling me about the strafe thing. We can leave the tent. Leave the tent. Oh, all right, let's go! I am really am wondering if I should control her or not. Is our papa a pushpin? What's going on with that? There you are, ready to go? Yes, Papa. I've been waiting for the festival all year. Well, it shouldn't be much longer now before we get things started. I'll need you to attend to some of the preparations. Here, take stock of everything in this bag of goodies. <gasps> Ugh, it's heavy. Whoa there, careful now. Right, I need you to put the candles... I thought this said cannolis. I need you to put the candle cannolis in the lanterns. Take the glider to young Fabio. Fabio. Take the cup to the chef, Batika. Batika. So you can taste test his soup and make sure that you deliver each of these gift boxes to all the villagers here before tonight's feast. Are you sure that coat is warm enough? Yes, Papa, I'm fine. All right, all right. Remember, once you've emptied that bag, come and find me in front of the banquet hall and I'll let you know if anything else needs doing. Off you go now. Oh, okay, and he's gone. I got five gifts. These should be delivered to the villagers who are standing outside their homes. Six candles. This should go inside of the empty unlit lanterns in the village. Oh, it's a, I thought it was like an actual glider, like a hang glider. It's just a paper airplane. The younger kids will throw these so the heat from the fire pit makes them fly and spread the plant seeds inside. Oh, that's kind of cute. I like that. Uh, empty cup. I should fill this up with the soup hut to taste it for the chef. And away we go. God, that seems so, that feels so disorienting. Oh, whoa, hey. Okay, so shift brings up my inventory. I get it. Who's this dude? Who's this guy? The tilted head. How do you do, good sir? Uh, give paper glider to Fabio. I'm disappointed. He does not have a luscious head of hair. Yay, the glider. Shroom. In the distance. Mama, have you seen my doll? Uh-oh. Sounds like a child is missing their doll. Is this the lantern that I need to put the candle in? No, it's not. So I, I looked up for no real reason. Got it. 
Understood. What is this sign? It just says hand. Because I got to talk to the hand and the face don't want to hear it. Uh, oh, that's an unlit lantern there. So we definitely want to place the candle in there. Cool. Whoa. What was that? Okay. That was a weird sound I heard there. Can I barge into other people's tents? No. Does not appear I can. What's back here? Oh, nothing. Okay. Well, <laughs> alright. Guess, guess that's fine. I mean, I... I had my hopes up for some kind of secret or something. Who was these two guys and girls? There you go. Give gift to Mr. and Mrs. Lau. Oh, they like they look like um like uh peep marshmallow treats, kind of. But I guess snowman version almost? I don't know. Here are your gifts. Ah, uh, so uh, uh, so kind of you, young one. Hollis, was it? That's right, Mr. Lau. I hope it's not too much trouble, but we actually have a gift that needs to be delivered as well. Oh yes, to the family just across from us. Dude, just walk across. Of course I will. Don't worry about it, Miss Lau. If you don't mind my asking, what is it? It's a book full of stories and images passed down from our ancestors. You see, we don't have many festivals left between us, and we're thinking that their children would appreciate holding memories of the past just as we did, even if they aren't their own. It's a lovely gift. I'd be glad to deliver it for you. You have all thanks, Hollis. Their house is just opposite our own. Do take care now. Oh, that was actually her, the lady saying it, but that's, that's fine. It's fine. Maybe she had a frog in her throat. The storybook. For the large family that migrated over, the story is called The Magic Mist. Okay, uh, and bye. Okay, farewell. Um, so just across from us would be like here, but uh, alas, there is no one here. So it's possible it could be this horse person? Hi, don't please don't turn to me. Give gift to Lipa. Oh my, are you sure? I'll have to get a gift for you next time then. Oh, okay. Bye, thanks for, for not telling me a lot of things, at least I guess. That's cool. Oh, no, I gotta stop doing that. I, I, I tried to, I, I was trying to sprint, and the game was like, no, nah, we're just gonna do this. Okay, place place the candle. Got another one. Uh oh, who are you? What are you what are you? <clears throat> you're like a weird you're like a Minecraft sheep if somebody, you know, dropped acid. Oh, give cup to Caster the Chef. Uh Hollis, you brought your own cup. I'm ready to taste my soup for the Mondig festival tonight. Sure am, Caster. Great. It's best served hot and fresh for my serving case here. Just reach inside, have a little sip, and let me know what you think. In the distance, Tal, where are you? Mm, it's delicious, Caster. That's good to hear. I hope everyone feels the same. Last year's soup didn't go over quite so well. I'm sure they'll love it, Caster. I'll see you at the fire pit later. I've been helping my papa out a lot today. Well, now, aren't you a busy one? See you later, then. Oh, and you're gonna... What the hell is with those noises? Why? What's with this sign? This... Oh, I gotta look up. Signs like, you, you must have hot cocoa here. Oh, gotta fix that. So there's a, there's a little girl somewhere who lost her doll. Okay, a candle there. I'm, I don't like these noises, and I don't like that thing. I don't know what's up with that thing. Check on Lipa. You dear little thing, I couldn't thank you enough for your gift. Oh, okay. Sure. I guess guess that's that's the end of that. Check on Fabio. Okay, so this is basically everyone uh, I think everyone's just gathering here. Oh, cuz yeah, this there's the fire pit sound or fire pit symbol. All right. Oh, I, there's a whole section over here I haven't even checked out. Is this the the couple? Oh, give the book to Mr. And Mrs. Donna. Yeah. Greetings again, Hollis. Indeed. What have you got there, dear? This is a gift from Mr. and Mrs. Loud just across the way. Oh, for us? And your children, too. They wanted to pass down what they learned about the old world so you could learn about it, too. Hope you like it. A book on the old world? Goodness, could we even accept such a gift? You're sure they're okay with parting with something of such importance? Certainly. Here you go, Miss, Miss Donna. Incredible. These look like our gliders, only larger. You're right. We'll have to gather the kids and go through all this together after the feast. You have our deepest thanks, dear Hollis. Don't let us keep you. It's no trouble at all, Mr. Donna. See you at the feast. Yep, okay. Just where's where's this 
You know, I'm kind of, I like the idea behind this. I'm just wondering, where's the spooky? Okay, just, just throw it out there. Oh, okay, so this is the other side of here. Understood. I would like to get to the spooky, please. Ah, there you are, Mr. Hard Hat. Um, many thanks. <clears throat> oh, okay. I thought we were going to have a conversation, but I guess because he coughed, we just don't want to be around him. That's fine by me. I'm really getting sick myself. There we go. Pop the candle in there. Cool. Whoa, whoa. Okay, give a test. Give gift to Rufus, the Tetris block, I guess. Oh, why did you turn your face, man? It's like Yoshi looking at you dead on. Here you go, Rufus. I hope this helps. Gesturing. Thank you, little one. You're very welcome. Are you feel any better? Yes, a bit better. Run along now. Sickness will surely catch. Oh, okay. Well, cool. Thanks. Yep. Thanks. Thanks for, you know, being out and about. I'm willing to bet you're going to be at the feast, spreading your disease all over the place. <sighs> Rufus, what's back here? Okay, at least I can go around and I don't want to be stuck. But there's another lantern here I got to check up. Um, boop. Uh, is that all of them? I don't understand that. Oh, I don't like your face. Your eyes are too low, your head sideways, and you, you're, you're, you got a very flat face. Give a gift to Harlow. Thank you. My, doesn't the sun, the sky beam look simply spectacular tonight? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It looks even brighter than last year, Harlow. You know, I could have sworn I saw a piece of it fall off earlier while I was tending to the stables here. Came down like a shooting star. Everyone thinks I'm full of it, though. Cool. Good, good talk. What do we got? I got anything? Still just got the boots. Okay, yeah, so I think I'm good. Oh, wait, who's this? Oh, who is this? This, uh... Oh, that's Lupa. That's the weird horse thing. I saw, like, the hourglass shape, and I was like, wait, hold up, that's kind of weird, what's going on? Okay, I think we're good. Uh, talk to Papa again. Papa, the deliveries are all done, are we ready to start? Not yet, Alice. We still need to find more firewood for the pyre. The gatherer hasn't come back yet? Is everything alright? Actually, he never left. Makala was too ill this year, Alice. Or, too, too ill this year. Alice, I've been doing some thinking. How would you like to be this year's firewood gatherer? Really? Go out into the th into thus wood thus th thus off woods all by myself? I don't know what that's supposed to be. All by yourself. You keep growing faster than I keep track. It's a greater response. It's a great responsibility, but I know you can handle it. I would love to, Papa. But what about the head seer? We've already spoken, and they've given full support. The old gatherer hasn't been the same since the autumn winds came. A shame is what it is, but never mind that. There's a fire to be made. Yes, I won't let you down, Papa. Be careful, Hollis. Remember to keep in sight with the brightest star to avoid getting lost. I love you. Uh -huh. Love you too, Papa. Stop stalling. <laughs> Just knock it off. I'm going out there. <laughs> Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> the woods aren't going anywhere. Here, best to best take that empty bag with you. Let's see you off the off through the gate to the soft woods. Ah, okay. Not controlling this. Oh my god. I have to talk to everyone, don't I? And I have to do voice. Oh, I have to do our voices for everyone. Good luck now and be careful. Yes, Afra. Yes, we can look for your dolly, Afra, but we can't be too long about it. Hollis. We'll be back soon with the firewoods. Sorry about that, Hollis. You know how the young ones are with their little toys. Uh, my grandfather used to live in the thus off woods. I wonder if his old cabin is still there. Uh, you tell him, give me some. Okay, I don't talk to everyone, luckily. Ah, look at you. The head seer made a right proper choice with this one, didn't they? My ma always loved those thus off woods. She was all broken up when we had to leave. Said it was going against our ancestors' wishes. Well, no, Hollis, is it? That's right. Cool. <laughs> right then. As the previous gatherer, <clears throat> let me give you a piece of advice. Keep to the path wherever it goes. Our ancestors tore up the ground when they used to live out there, said the soil was sick. It's all <clears throat> loose now, like fresh snow. Any heavy steps in the wrong place and you might slip under. Easy prey. Prey? For what? 
Couldn't tell you exactly. Never got to know for sure if there was anything still out there. Guess that's why they don't usually send little ones out to do this stuff, right? Uh-oh. Ah, <clears throat> look at me, scaring the new kid. Hey, look, it's probably nothing. The dust off woods may be intimidating for a few times, but you get the hang of it. And if you do find anything, though, you come right back here as soon as you can. You ready to do this? I, I won't let you down, Mahala. There now, that's the spirit. Hey, take this here hat before you go. You can think of it as a little badge of honor. Some artifact from the past or something. I ain't so sure what the folks around here think it means, but they gave it to me when I first started, so I suppose it's yours now. Oh, thank you, Mahala. It's, it's quite soft. It'll keep your noggin warm. Good luck, kid. Best be quick about it now. Feels like there's a storm coming. Soft hat. It's quite soft. It's not the hat he was wearing, though. That's probably all right. Looks like he's wearing a hard hat, which could protect him from possible prey, but I guess, okay. Bye, people. Farewell. I guess this is life now. Oh, uh, this is a, this is a path, I guess. Kind of, I kind of want to go off the path, but I also kind of don't feel like getting, you know, murderized. There is, there's a smoke coming out there. Don't like that. Oh, do I have to look down and pick up? I do. Thin and fragile. Yep. Okay, cool. I gotta... There, I missed one back here. Let me grab this. Is there, did I miss any other ones here? Doesn't doesn't quite look like it. How many do I need? We didn't really talk about this with Papa. Papa. Uh, there's another one. Oh, damn it. I keep... God, this feels so weird to control. There's another one there. What the hell was that noise? I swear I just heard someone yell, No! Alright. Large sticks, sturdy and tough. This will help me keep the fire pit burning. Dude, I hate this. I don't know why I don't... I feel off about this whole situation here. But I do. Is that from the sky beam? What is that? What is that? Oh. Huh? There's someone screaming, pick up the sky piece. Piece of the sky. Someone said they saw this fall from the sky beam. I thought it would look more like a rock, but it doesn't. I feel very lucky. What is going on in the background where someone is just screaming constantly? Or not constantly, occasionally. Okay, see if I see one over here. Small stick. Um, dude, I don't like that. I don't know why. It's like so jarring to me. But I hate it. Like I feeling feeling a little funky fresh. Oh, what do we got here? Another stick. Of course, it makes sense. Everything it's all sticks. Everything in the world is is just a a collection of sticks. Why is it getting louder and darker? Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like this one bit. Yeah, it's getting spooky time now. Okay, I'm like, I, I'm... Okay, I'm liking the game. I am not liking the situation of the game now. Got ourselves another stick. But before I grab this, I want to take a look over there. Oh, I don't have to actually... There we go. Got a stick. Uh, what's over here? Do I have to like remember the pathway? Cause I'm, I have a feeling I'm gonna have to run back at some point. Oh, tiny doll. That girl back home said she was looking for a lost doll, but this can't be the same one, right? That's a pretty creepy looking doll. I like it. All right, so trying to remember where I am now. Oh, what's this? That's like a car. Wait. Do I want to go this way? I'm gonna go. Oh, I don't like that sound. What is with that sound? Why is that sound? Okay. Do I go? I'm going to get lost. I'm definitely going to get lost. Oh, the draw distance is shrinking. Something's going to be in the distance at some point. Possibly. I am totally lost now. Oh, there's a stick. Yep, got a stick. 
Uh, we're just gonna go this way. Oh, there's a big stick. Yeah, give me that stick. Boop. Pick up large stick. Got it. I'm really just expecting to turn around. It's. Uh, I don't like that dead end. I don't like the dead end idea. I really. Oh, it's getting so dark. I don't like the dark. It's full of terrors. Oh, we'll go this way. Oh no. No, 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 no. Don't do this to me, game. Large stick. Yep. Oh, it's the, the yeah, I can barely see in front of my own eyes now. Dude. Oh man. This is I hate this. Like it's it's so different than the game. The game, the being the game is very cute. Oh, let's help our neighbors out. And you know, give them gifts and whatnot. Oh no, this isn't a pathway. That's not a pathway. I gotta why is there background humming? I don't like the background humming. There's so much going on here that I don't like. I don't know where I am. I can't see anything. Ugh. Ow! What the... My things must have fallen out of the bag. Oh no, how am I going to... Wait, what's that beyond those... What? Why is it glowing? Oh. Okay, I was supposed to. Oh, no, my things are still here. I have small sticks, large sticks, soft hat. <laughs> yeah, I'm golden. Don't worry. No. No, don't quit the game. Got it. Dude, there we go. Okay, so it's both Alt and or both Shift and Tab. Pull that up, but I gotta I gotta grab this stick. Yep, there you go. Got that stick. All about that stick. Now there's something glowing over there, which is I honestly I was expecting something to attack me, but falling through is probably just as terrifying, if not more. Where is that? Wait. What was that glow then? Yeah, we're gonna keep grabbing large sticks. <clears throat> that's pretty much all I can do. But it looks like there is something glowing over at this side. Oh, wait, what's this? Is that a hard hat? Pick up thin yellow bowl. Oh, got a bowl. It has the same ridge as my hat. It doesn't look very stable. It's a it's a bowl. How, how stable does that be? Oh, okay. Go through these spikies, maybe? Can't go that way. Now I'm having the opposite problem where everything is super bright. And oh, there we go. There's something there. Definitely gotta check that out. What is that? It looks like there's a house here or something, too. There's a lot to take in on this game. It's very weird. I kind of am digging it. Yeah, what is that? Uh, look down, pick up the plane. This feels too heavy to throw across the fire pit. There's not even any seas in this thing. Heavy glider. I see. Alright, oh, and then we go back this way. So, let's see. I'm trying to, like, picture, like, what's happening in this game. Obviously, it seems like it's in the far future. Um, because er er everything's covered in snow, and it, a forest had grown over top of society but I don't like I don't understand how like you have to uproot everything and then encapsulate it around but also we could not be following typical earth um, you know rules of nature this place it feels somehow we might it might be like you know another planet something like another reality a different reality possibly there's nope that's per earth there's English written on it what does that say? Dang. Dange? Wait, no. Dirge. Dirge. To our... Okay. An ear to our... Something... Oh, right. I can strafe. Lend an ear our... Or... Harmful dirge? Is that say harmful or no? No, it's mourn. Oh, mournful dirge. Lend an ear to our mournful dirge, or will you lend an ear to our mournful dirge? 
Okay. The only thing I actually know about Dirge is um, Final Fantasy. Dirge of Cerberus. There's a guy I got a second. I got another glider and another hat. It's a bowl, but it, I think we all know it's a hat. Our character just doesn't know it's a hat. Oh. There's a lot of writing. Oh. So, one of the things about nuclear contaminants is you typically have to bury them deep underground. So I'm wondering if... Pick up the, t the tiny doll. Another doll? So I'm wondering now if, like... The... Oh, I don't like this. Oh, okay, I guess we're gonna hop in through here. So I wonder now if, like... It's a, it's a similar idea. They were, you know, burying radiation that caused the forest to be uninhabitable. And because of that, that hand, I wonder who this door was meant for. Yeah, that hand did show up on the, um, why am I crouching? It looks, it feels like I'm crouching. Am I, am I crouching? Is there a way? Nope, I'm just, okay, I'm just, I, I know, I know I'm tiny and all, but yeesh. Unless, maybe this is designed for someone who is much smaller. That is very possible. I guess we're just going to chuck ourselves over here. Yep, that's fine. Oh, there's is that snow or rain or water. Oh, this is so weird, but cool. I like the I like this design and the questions I have about this world. How have all these lanterns been burning for so long? Did my ancestors light them? Uh, I don't think they're lanterns. They're just I think they're just lights. Unless, is that the radiation glowing? If that's the case, we are definitely poisoned. Was I meant to come down here? What for? The people back home must probably be wondering where I am right now. Oh, I can't go up. I gotta probably go down. Yeah, gotta go down the stairs. Skadoopa. Skadoopadoop. Just gonna descend all these stairs and see what waits. Okay, it's just a bunch of it's just a bunch of stairs. This is like an SCP. I hate this. Now I'm getting like a little claustrophobic because of stairs. Let's go. There you go. Got a door. Crawl through here. Perfect. Oh, that's a lot of radiation. We are super poisoned. These things all look like the presents I delivered to my friends. Did someone leave them here for me? I could never get them all back and open them by myself. Oh no. Oh, the innocence of a child. I no, I feel so bad for her. She's so radiation poisoned. Oh, and then there's That's not good. I don't like that. Why is that opening? Why is that opening by itself? Okay, we're gonna continue on. I don't see anything. The drawing in the store reminds me of that doll. Oh god, this this feels so weird. So this is like a nuclear reactor, but kind of? I mean, granted, the only nuclear reactor I have any real knowledge on was the show Chernobyl from HBO. Uh, and the cooling rods did not look that big. But maybe they're each individual reactors, and like they figured out a way that cooling it while suspended was easier? I don't know. What do we got there? We got a door there and another door over here. Let's check out this door first. God, there's so many questions. Okay, cool. This door. That's one question to answer. That door does nothing. So many questions I have about this game. And it's it's like one of those things where it's puzzling and I'm not uh, upset I don't have the answers right now. And I have a feeling we're not going to get any answers. I have a feeling the game is just going to end. Possibly with the death of our main character. She passes out. Alright, so the door is not labeled, which means that's probably not where I go. Oh my god, that is a long, long stairway. Alright, none of those doors are labeled, so I'm pretty sure I don't go there. Oh, I'm I'm falling. Okay, I fell in a pit. What is, is that a vending machine? Reach inside the box. What is that? Okay, the box has a doll in it. Okay. I don't... 
What is with the saw trap? Did we just put both our hands in there? What does this do? I'm scared. I can't reach the Wait, my arms are stuck. Help! Oh, no. Holy crap. I... I am so confused, but also I enjoyed that in like the in like a weird way. Oh man, that was good. Like I so I knew that the game would have to end with the death of the main character, especially once we fell in that pit. There was no way we were getting out from that point on. But like the only option being to put our hands into that box, I mean realistically, I, I think that is more of a message about curiosity and how an untethered child or a child needs some regimen because untethered they're likely to cause issues hopefully not this fatal but that entire process leading up to it really good i mean realistically like i had that same curiosity as a child i was like there's so much in this world that i would look to know but unfortunately we never find out i like that though let me know what you all thought about Do They Know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And also make sure to subscribe so you updates for all this new content. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I will talk to you all later. Bye.